Hello and welcome. In this new series, we will learn together how to create poster shop themes from the ground up. So to do so, we need to have an active installation of poster shop with, you know, a new local machine or a uh, hosted server. In my case, I'm working with uh, a local machine, and the version of poster shop is almost the latest one, 1.6.1.5, and. Uh, everything look well so let's go ahead and see what we can do about this first thing we need to do is to navigate to my uh, let's say to my administration or to my admin panel for the poster shop then go to preferences or uh, preferences themes and I'll be landed into a page that contain the themes or the installed theme and the active ones uh, whether I, I, if I have an other themes and so on so then we need to go to new add the new theme and i will be landed on this page so we have different options here option number one import from your computer in case you 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 know you purchase a theme from whatever and you would like to install it directly import from the web if you have an active URL or archive URL import from FTP we don't need this so this is our target for the time being duplicate an existing theme and edit it or create a new theme from the scratch recommended for advanced user only well for the moment let's be considered as a non-advanced user so I will create a new theme it will ask me for the theme name I will create our type I will call it new theme okay thank you then preview I don't have preview uh, left column right column we will not bother ourselves about this for the moon for the time being the name of the theme directory this is very important this is actually crucially important to uh, to, to care about this little part actually it's it's required as you see here so what does this mean is the system would like to know in which directory to put the new theme so to do that we need to move or to navigate to my installation folder the poster shop then the theme folders then create a new theme and I will call it new copy that name back to my back office and paste it new then here is the magic so copy missing file from the existing theme what does this mean if you remember in the previous step he said if you would like to copy from an existing or creating from scratch if you are an advanced user in our case we would like to win some time you know we, we don't want really to invent uh, the, everything from the ground up so there is an existing theme uh, we will base our our job or our work or our uh, changes uh, on that existing theme the default bootstrap theme and uh, I will we will with everything depending on that thing so I'll click right here and select default bootstrap is this responsive I said yes hit save it will turn a bit and if we back to our folder the created folder we will see that we have a lot of files created generated actually copied from the existing default bootstrap thing back to my browser okay successful creation that's good and scroll down select a theme for the dev shop and that's our new theme with a oh, actually for the screenshot is copied from the existing theme so doesn't really matter and I will hit use this theme here module to install we don't really care for the moment what does this mean we will see this later so just save okay we almost done here one more step right now he's just generating the product thumbnail product thumbnail is these are these pro the, the product images and uh, you know it works it that's it so the new theme has been successfully installed we don't need this for the moment image have been correctly updated everything look pretty good then hit finish okay theme active new theme everything look good refresh 
and right now we will not see any mentionable difference because it's just a copy from the existing one but to be sure that everything is right and the theme is properly installed and active we need to navigate to to go to my editor then theme new this is the folder then look for header.tpl and I will type some some junky code you know, some text you know that we that make us sure that everything look okay lorem as example back to my browser and let's refresh the page and that's the text indicating that everything is okay that's it for this first episode of this series in the next one we will see how to uh, play around with css and uh, giving our theme the customizing look that we are looking for thanks for watching and see you in the next one